Hello, everyone out there. This is Jeff Goldblatt with Rebecca's Wish, and we have a very special guest. It is Rebecca Taylor herself, the founder of Rebecca's Wish. Rebecca, you've been in the hospital quite a bit, or I should say a hospital quite a bit the last year. How are you feeling right now, hon? I'm doing all right right now. Just about to start up some treatments to set up a steady regimen for the summer that will keep me going, hopefully, for the next few years. Great. And you are going to college. Um, I, I say that with, with hesitation because I don't want you guys to go. My son's the same age as, as you, and I want you guys to stay, right? No, but you're going. And tell everyone about your college plans. It's really unique. For the first two to three years, I'm going to go to AN and in College Station. I'll live on campus um, for the first year at least. And I will get my bachelor's in engineering under the Brown Foundation um, program. Then afterwards, I will take a quick break in between the scholarship that I was offered to do research and to get a master in chemistry up at Harvard in Boston. And then after that, I will come back down to Houston for the next five to six years to get my master in engineering, my MD and my PhD from the InMed program. Wow, that, that is really just an accomplishment. So you're looking at, sound about more than 10 years of school. You ready for that? <laughs> yes, sir. If there was a job I could have that could be attending school every single day for the rest of my life and I could get paid doing that, I would take it. So this <laughs> you is love school. I know, I know you love school. And <laughs> when you say A&M for people who don't live in Texas, that's Texas A&M. Texas A&M, yes, sir. Wonderful. That's in College Station, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And your, fa your parents met there, right? They did. My grandfather was the dean of engineering for a while. And so, of course, my mom went to A&M and met my dad there. Great. So a special place. I know you're going to do really, really well there. Are your sites still set on doing pancreatic research? Yes, sir. Um, mainly focus on the pancreas, but I also want to focus on causes of pancreatitis, such as certain immune disorders or neurological disorders that can cause pancreatitis to happen so that I can focus on curing more of the root causes as well as pancreatitis itself. And, and pe pediatric, correct? Pediatric, yes, sir, of okay. course. What do you think about Rebecca's wish at this point? You developed it or it was founded 2017, 2018. Is it everything you wanted it to be? And where do you envision it going when you're in college? So far, Rebecca's Wish has definitely accomplished everything that I've wanted it to. But there are many more plans that we have in the future, like bringing in um, more fellows to be trained and sent to different parts of the U.S. and eventually the world. And then our passport program, which is helping protect children from having wrong treatments or care that isn't covering them in different hospitals when they can't quite make it to see their doctor if they live far away. Um, I also really want to focus on helping a lot of kids receive other so kinds of care outside of just pancreatic treatments in the sense of working with them on physical therapy or making sure that they can get routine checkups for other common diseases that come along with pancreatitis so that we can be able to stop things before they get too worse. There are many diseases out there that many kids don't realize that they have until it's too late and they already have so much damage done to their bodies. Doing this prevention or being able to help them with things like dietary um, restrictions or Again, like the physical therapy to keep them up and moving or even mental health, such as having them see certain counselors who know how to deal with long term illnesses will help prevent hopefully a lot of damage to their social, physical and mental well-being in the future. Rebecca, as a final question, anything you'd like to say to the people out there who have been supporting you and supporting Rebecca's wish throughout this journey? I just want to say thank you for your continued help, even through a global pandemic to help keep us up and running so that we can keep taking care of the kids who get sick either way, despite a pandemic or not. Um, I hope that in the future we can help even more kids and bring them to eventually a cure for pancreatitis so that nobody else has to suffer through such a disease like this. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for your time. 
Thank really, you. really appreciate you. And I'm excited to see what happens to Rebecca's wish. <laughs> Me too. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay.